See, and these are just discussions to a woman which sometimes can freak a guy out because we don't know where it can lead to. So we get scared about that sometimes. Because sometimes the arguments come kind of out of nowhere. Arguments come out of nowhere. Have you ever been waking in the middle of the night by the other person? Wake up, wake up. I had a nightmare about you. We were driving in the desert and you just left me there. Go back to sleep, I'll come pick you up. As soon as I finish fighting a monster in my dream, I'll come back. Number one thing couples argue about, money. See, the myth is that since women shop more, they spend more, but guys actually buy more expensive things, so it all kind of balances. But whoever's doing the bills is the one who snaps. Whoa! Jesus! Whoa! Hey, babe, come here a minute. We got a little economic discussion here. See, you can't spend more than you take in. Stop me if I sound out of line. Look at it, this bill's yours, that bill's yours, that bill's... When do you come up for air in these places anyway? <laughs> Babe, you gotta cut down, you're spending too much money. What about your boat? My boat, I need my boat. <laughs> you know that fish you ate last night? That fish that I caught with my boat? That fish would cost $10 in the store. I catch 4,000 more of those fish, that boat pays for itself. <laughs> I don't see your dresses making any money here. Yeah, well, that can be arranged. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Try to have a discussion. Other ways to start an argument, guys, you can stay out late. You absolutely know that. Especially if you're married or living together, you got a curfew. At some time, you better be in the house or come through that door with an injury. <laughs> Last call. I gotta get home. Tony, break my leg. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, no, I can drive. It's an automatic. I'm all right. Uh, Canyon man would not break his leg. <laughs> it's great. You're doing my jokes for me now. That's terrific. Uh, that's all past for me now, though. I don't argue with my wife at all. She's pregnant. I just try to do whatever she wants done. That's the way I feel. We're very happy about this. Man. Very happy. It's great. It's great. We found out this summer I was working in Florida. My wife was with me. The first couple of days we were down there together, she kept saying, I'm late. You ever hear that, guys? I'm late. The only thing you can say as a guy is, well, you're always late. <laughs> oh, you nitwit, I'm late, late. Well, you're always, always late, late. And it's tough on a woman because she doesn't know because the symptoms are the same for beginning their menstrual cycles are for early part of pregnancy. A woman has swollen tender breasts, raging hormones, she's fatigued easily. God could have helped us out a lot here if he had given a woman different signals. Like if a woman's pregnant, have her hair shoot straight up in the air. <laughs> Not for the whole nine months, just for a couple of days, you know. <laughs> if it's a boy, shoot the right, a girl, shoot the left. <laughs> you know, have this happen instantaneously in a moment of conception. So if you're trying to have children, the results immediately. It's Good! No good. Off to the right. So we were down there. We weren't at home. I said, well, we'll find a doctor tomorrow and get a blood test. She goes, I can't wait. I want to know tonight. I can't wait anymore. Let's go get a home pregnancy test. Said, sure, okay. You know. So we got in a rental car, and then we drive to the drugstore, and she waited in the car, and I went in, and I bought a home pregnancy test and a box of tampons. Well, she wanted to be covered either way. Understood. Yeah. I have no problem doing this. I buy feminine hygiene products for all the time. I hear some guys are embarrassed to do this. I don't understand that. What is the guy worried the clerk's going to think of the user stuff for himself? I go up to the register. I'm practically bragging. I got a woman! I got a woman! What do you got, penthouse pal? I got a woman! That's just one of these things, guys. You know, if we're going to hang around women on a regular basis, we have to understand this about them. It's the same thing with PMS. I hear some guys complain about PMS. And a friend of mine who's been married a long time sent me straight about this a while ago. He says a guy's responsibility to react favorably to it because a woman gets blindsided by it every time. What he told me to do is you keep track of her menstrual cycle in your calendar. That way, if things start to get extreme, guys, you can check it out. Because you're not going to have them. One day, you just walk in the house, and she's like, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Wait a minute, babe, let me look at something in minute here. Oh, yeah. I'm shutting the door. 
because I'm a good boy. He told me the only thing you can do to help the situation is give her a hug and tell her you love her. No matter what she's saying about herself, no matter what she's saying about you, just give her a hug and tell her you love her. I mean, don't try to hug her if she's waving a knife around. Pick your moment here, you know. But the dumbest thing you do is try to tell her that her behavior has something to do with PMS. Now, wait a minute, baby. You think the fact that you're yelling at me about the door being open has maybe something to do with your time and the month is coming on? And why do you think every time I'm angry, it has something to do with PMS? Maybe it's just the fact that I'm sick and tired of walking around behind you, close doors, turn off lights when you think the whole world draws around you. Why don't you shut the door? Shut your mouth, you idiot. Thank you very much, folks. It's been a lot of fun. I appreciate it.